All right, so uh, there's this website, uh, abbreviated, or their initials are V-A-E-R-S. You might have heard of it. And today, <clears throat> I saw our number on there. That number was 12,000. And um, <clears throat> they were talking about the United States. And yet... Nobody's reporting this anywhere. Remember, in 1976, the number 25 was high enough where they said, okay, we need to stop doing this. After 25, we're at, technically we're at almost 11,000 plus another 995 that weren't actually out of their mother's womb yet. So I'm not sure what it is that has to happen in order for people to say, that's it, we have to march, we have to protest. These media outlets are as corrupt as the day is long the fact that they're not reporting this. And by the way, I understand that they're fully invested in the message that they've created over the last 15, 16 months. I get that. And the embarrassment of having to admit that everything that you, you've been reporting is completely wrong. I get that. However, this is where humility comes in. But I get it. People are already saying to me, Probably in the comments, Dave, it's not about humility. It's about money. Of course it's about money, right? Look, anybody could shut this down if they had the courage to shut it down. I can't shut it down. If I, you know, I don't know what to do. Do I go marching upon the CDC? I mean, what do you do? Maybe there should be. There should be a protest somewhere. But the fact that this isn't shut down now, um, there are a couple of arguments, fact-checking arguments that will be presented to you. One, causality. You cannot prove causality. <laughs> That's funny, because guess what? When people were dropping supposedly like flies last year due to the um, phantom molecule, um, could you prove causality? Could you? What about comorbidities? What about any of that stuff? So people would argue and say, these numbers seem rather inflated. When you're talking hundreds of thousands, those numbers look legitimately, legitimately inflated. Now, the 12,000 seems to be very underreported, according to a study from Harvard. Yeah, you know Harvard. You can't trust Harvard, though, right? Well, maybe you can't trust Harvard, but they did do a study to try to determine how accurate this is. And they came to the conclusion that about 1% of what was actually happening out here was being reported to this wonderful website, which is supposed to keep track of these things. I've said this over and over again. There's nobody who's come out to refute the Harvard study. There's nobody actually refuting the idea that it's underreported. They're just saying causality. These things happened. But, you know, a healthy 26-year-old and no other things going on in their life, very healthy. Eh, there's no link. We can't find a link. So how do you prove it? Well, you have to do what? An autopsy? People are being randomly suggested, hey, maybe you should just cremate this person. What is going on, right? So yeah, that's happening. It's happening. Um, look, this isn't funny. You get kind of a weird sort of maniacal feeling inside where your normal sort of human regulatory system, we'll call it, where you're not supposed to laugh at things that aren't funny. You're not supposed to cry at things that aren't sad. 
those things get way out of whack when you're in the midst of this. I found myself getting emotional, angry, sad, rebellious, indignant, and then withdrawn. That's a big one. Very withdrawn, like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. I, I, I mean, or you think to yourself, I'm living in some sort of matrix. I'm watching this river go by. And then I see the number 12,000 today in the, on the river floating by. And I go 12,000. Okay. And everybody just, yeah, man, let's just keep going. No media attention. No, here's breaking news, Bob. No, I look, I don't know if I've complained, but I think I have on this channel talked about my local news here. Wink news. Last year, Wink news, when this all started to happen, they put out their, their slogan was facts, not fear. And a bunch of other stations that were owned by the same company did the same thing. Facts, not fear. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm living in an opposite world. Facts, not fear. And if you turn on that newscast at any time, you're going to get five to 10 minutes of pure, unadulterated propaganda on steroids every day, every single day. And how are folks doing out there? How's their mental health doing right now? Hmm? Isn't that a what would we consider collateral damage? Wouldn't we consider mental health collateral damage? I would. Yeah. That, I mean, who caused this? Oh, well, it was the floating particle that caused this. The floating aerosol particle that is like sand going through a chain link fence. For those of you who believe in certain types of um, facial apparel. <laughs> I'm just stretching it here, trying to avoid certain words. So let me wrap this up. I don't want this to be too long. It doesn't need to be. Care about, let, let, here's the thing, care about the 12,000. Go research the 12,000. Because, you know, for you progressive types over here, we're talking about... Um, you know, Medicare for all, you know, what is it? Uh, make them vote for something, whatever that was. Rock the vote again. I don't know. Force the vote. That's it. Force them. You care about that? Here's the thing. It's supposed to be life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, if you eliminate the first one, kind of hard to do the second two. Life, liberty, liberty pursuit of happiness. <laughs> and for those of you libertarian types, who have your little echo chamber world where you've got all these cool issues and man, this Rothbard guy, this Mises guy, they're so smart. And the rest of the world is just hanging on. They're just trying to survive. They don't care. They don't care. There've been, what about Thomas Sowell, right? He was great too. There are a lot of great people. That's not going to fix what's going on right now. I mean, it doesn't mean you can't, advocate for certain things, but you need to, I've been saying this for a while, prioritize, prioritize people on Twitter. Well, you know that God made cannabis, right? We need cannabis now. You know what we need right now is freedom, freedom of movement, freedom of speech, freedom to uh, decipher information properly. On and on that goes. Think about the 12,000 today. I can't even believe that that's the number. It's 12,000. It's 17,000 in Europe, by the way, because they're not, they're not quite as hesitant as we are. And I think their population, well, actually, I think their population might be lower collectively. I'd have to look into that. Might be higher. But they're up to 17,000. That was as of like a week ago. And we're at 12,000 as of today. You do what you want with this information, but it, it should be a call to action. At least tell people, share this information with people. That's the very least you can do. 
because you do have to create some kind of firestorm groundswell where people get off their butts, get away from the entertainment, get away from the pet peeve issues that you may have and get to work at saving people. Seriously, because if you're not going to do that, then that number 12,000 is going to go up. It's going to keep going up. And remember, 1976, it was 25, 25, and they shut it down. What are we doing? <laughs>